as soon as I uh, moved there, he just automatically took to us, and we took to him. He checks our oil for us in the summertime. He always stops and speaks. Nikisha Smith, who preferred not to be on camera, says her neighbor is the one who was involved in an hours-long standoff with U.S. Marshals. Smith says he's in his early 60s. Police have not released his name, but said gunfire erupted after U.S. Marshals attempted to serve a warrant to a suspect in the 2300 block of Albion Place just after 7 a.m. A spokesperson for the U.S. Marshals told Five on Your Side Tuesday afternoon the suspect had a federal pretrial violation and failed to maintain status while being out on bond. One shot was fired by the subject. A 7250 was activated. We talked the subject out of the residence. There are no reported injuries. The SWAT team said the man's name over and over again, trying to get him out of the house safely and answer the phone. Eventually, they brought the suspect out uninjured just before noon Tuesday. There was uh, one other person in the, in the residence at the time, um, and that person came out willingly. Keisha Moore says her son was at school nearby and that the situation hits too close to home. When I walk out my house, I'm covering myself daily, covering your kids, cover your homes, cover your children. This is the time we're in.